this is a fourth video in a series where I am showing you how to customize a backend for your customers. In one of the videos I showed you how to create a custom admin dashboard like this one here. For example, if I want to edit pages, I just click on the shortcut. There are video tutorials, contact form and so on in this custom dashboard. In the second video I showed you how to remove admin menus for the specific user role. We created a user role called site admin. Then we attach our customer to this user role and remove menus, plugins, tools, and so on. We even removed the customizer here. In the third video, I showed you how to create a knowledge based site for your customer. That means site with a live search on every page with a nice navigation and front page and this kind of site benefits to your customers and hopefully they will not send you lots of emails regarding how to use Gothenburg and so on. Just create the site and you're good to go. If you're interested then I added links to those videos in the description so take a look at them. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to add menus to your admin panel. I'm going to show you how to add the menus like this on the admin bar or on the sidebar and if you click on it it will open up the link you want it to open. In this case, I'm going to show you how to link to the knowledge base site. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to take only a couple of minutes. Okay, let's dive in. First things first, in this video, I'm going to give you two code snippets. I'm going to put the link to the snippets in the description of this video. But you have to add those code snippets, whether to your child team's functions PHP file, or better yet, use code snippet plugin like I do. That means you're going to go to the plugins, add new and search for code snippets. This one here. Install and activate it. And if you do that, then you won't depend on your team. Even if you switch teams, all the snippets will be there and all the menus we're going to add will be there. So install and activate and next go to the snippets and add new. Now give it a reasonable title, for example, add admin bar menus and next paste this code snippet here. I'm going to explain you what is what. I have commented everything for you. That means this one here adds first level menu. It's going to appear here and there will be sub menus those here. So here goes the menu title. I'm going to give it the title all tutorials. Since I want to open it up in the new tab, I'm going to add target blank. If you don't want it to open in a new tab, then just delete this row here. Next, there are sub menus. I'm going to save it and I'm going to show you what is what. One more thing. Select here, only run in the administration area. Click save changes and activate. And there it is. Nice looking menu. If I click on it, it will open up a new tab here. Now, submenus. Here goes the title. Just replace this part and replace this link. Put here the link you want the customer to go. If you don't need so many menus, just delete them. And if you save it, then as you see, there is only one. If you would like to add more, then just copy this part, paste it here rename the titles and the links and save it. Maybe I would like to add another menu up here. Then I'm going to just grab this part here, copy, paste it and pay attention that you have to rename this part here. For example, my item one. Now there will be frequently asked questions. If I save it, it's going to be here. Now, if I want to add sub menus to this menu, then take a look. I'm going to grab this part here, paste it. And now take a look. This is a parent ID, my item one. Therefore, I'm going to link this one here. For example, question one here as a title and parent is my item one. If I'm going to save it, it's, it's here and opens up nicely. At the moment, I'm going to delete it and delete also this one here. 
save it. So all good with this one here. Next, let's add menus to the left side, add new, give it the title, for example, admin menus and sub menus. And now let's paste this snippet here. Before I'm going to give you explanations, I'm going to run it in administration area, save changes and activate, and there it is. Nice menu, how to use Gothenburg menus, orders, products. So let's take a look what is what. This part here, menu position, it's my second menu. If I want it to be down bottom, I'm going to give it the position 100. And there it is down bottom here. Just play with those uh, menu position numbers if you want to locate here or there. Next, this one here adds the main menu. So rename this part as you like. And those are the external links and they act as a sub menus here. I'm going to save it and move it back up. So those are the sub menus. Now, here goes the title, here goes the URL, and now since I want the menus to be opened up in the new tab, <coughs> I'm going to give it a ID, and those IDs have to be different. New tab, new tab 2, 3, 4, and so on. If I'm going to add a menu here, take a look, I'm going to just copy and paste it then it's going to be new tab 5, change title, how to do something. I'm going to grab a URL, paste it here. And now since I want it to be opened in a new tab, I have to paste all. So this one here and rename it new tab 5, save changes, how to do something. And there you go. Well, there is a typo here. How to do something now. How to something. And there it is. Nothing complicated here. And for the last part, let's add the sub menu somewhere in the default menus. For example, let's add a sub menu under the plugins here. So go to snippets, add new, give it the title, and now paste the snippet here. And now let's see what happens. Only run in administration area, save changes and activate. And there it is, my menu. Now if I want to move this menu under some other default menu, for example, under the products, then just copy the link, paste it here, remove this part, save it. And there you go. Now let's give it some kind of link, which is meaningful. For example, opens up coupons. Now let's see where the coupons are. Marketing, copy link, paste it here. Save it. So coupons. And there you go. We just move the coupons menu under products. Now, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. But if you want to thank me, then please subscribe to this channel, press thumbs up to this video, and we're good to go. Meanwhile, take care.